<laughs> Are we ready? Okay. Good morning, Amsterdam. Good morning, Rockstart. Good morning, Oscar. Good morning, participants. Yeah. We are now starting the first conference uh, that we do in Amsterdam, the Eco Summit Amsterdam. You probably know this picture. I've been here during this incredible event, the sale event. I think it only happens uh, every five years. Every five years. And the tall ships are coming from all over the world, and it's a really big party. And I love this uh, event so much uh, that I kind of used it for the marketing of this, uh, of this uh, conference, because, uh, to be honest, I didn't have a lot of Amsterdam pictures. Yeah? After this event, it will be different. <laughs> 7th of July, I think it's uh, the beginning of the uh, holiday season in the Netherlands next week. And um, we have chosen the date uh, for a very personal reason. I'm a big jazz fan. And tomorrow the North Sea Jazz Festival is starting in Rotterdam. And I've been there a couple of times in Rotterdam during the last years, maybe 20 years or 25 years. And I always uh, thought I like it so much I need to do business before this uh, festival. So this is why we have chosen this date. And after the event, we, you can tell me if it was a good idea to go into summer, into the first week of July, or whether next year we should probably look for another date. Let me remind you, uh, Eco Summit is a smart green innovation and impact conference for startups, investors, and corporates. We really like to bring together these uh, three groups of companies. We believe they should be doing business together, open innovation, buying and selling, and also investing, of course. And we will be, um, we are not, we will be, we are recording this event again for Ecosummit TV. It actually feels a little bit like a TV studio here on stage. We have two cameras. We are mixing the videos live today. Gert-Jan in the corner is our video director. He is mixing and we will be uploading to YouTube already within a couple of days after the event. So I hope uh, that we can keep our promise and not lose any data that we produce live today. So we will be uploading all the videos within a couple of days. Very important moment of my opening. I want to show my gratitude and my respect for a couple of really important companies and really important people who helped us a lot to make this happen. They put in some money, they put in some contacts and some introduction and a lot of feedback. And basically, it's a, let me read them out to you. It's a Shell, there's a Robert. I've been at the Energy Fest a couple of weeks ago and uh, we made this deal afterwards, so it was a good investment for me to go there. <laughs> we have uh, Leoni uh, from Eneco, a really cool Dutch utility. I think they're very innovative, and they are sponsoring our next three events. And actually, Shell is also supporting the upcoming event in London. We have uh, Stadtkraft, Matthias, also uh, a long-term and long-time sponsor. Startcraft Ventures. He used to be at the High Tech Gründer Fall, and then he was headhunted to lead Startcraft Ventures, a new corporate VC. And I think you will be speaking later today, like most of you will be speaking later today. Rockstart, thank you very much, Oscar. Last time I was here with you, we were dancing at your five years party. This was really a dance floor. Today we decided let's uh, um, make it look more like a conference room, not a dance floor, but uh, we will be doing some small dancing in the evening downstairs, okay? Invent Capital, Peter Mikovets and his team, really cool uh, corporate VC from the Czech Republic, Sprout. We have uh, two people here from Sprout. It's a local magazine, a Dutch magazine for entrepreneurs. And basically, uh, uh, I got an... And, and the idea to get in touch with you just a couple of weeks ago, so they are our media partner. We have Set Ventures, René and Raphael Kuhne here in the um, audience, Start Green Capital, Life Size Media. Emma Murphy came from London, still shocked by the Brexit vote. She will let you more about it during the day. Xing Events, the online ticketing partner that we are using when you buy a ticket online, Berlin, TXL, Philip over there in the back. It's uh, the project of what will happen to the airport, Tegel, if we 
stop using it as an airport. <laughs> Sometime in the future, he gives an update on this. And really important organization in your country, they are using lottery money and spend it wisely into startups. They are actually an investor in Rockstart, Dune Foundation, or as uh, the Dutch call it, Stichting Dune. Stichting Dune. <laughs> yeah, not bad, eh? <laughs> We are going to meet again at the Eco Summit London on the 11th of, of, of October at CodeNote. It will be our fourth conference in London. It's a new location in London. We have been three years um, at the Siemens building, the Crystal. You have been there. Many of you have been there. But it's a new location, really centrally located directly in Tech City. And I think um, it's a pretty cool hacker space. And you can also look forward to our eighth edition of the Eco Summit in Berlin. That's our flagship event. It's a little bit bigger than here. 250 people came together this year. And we will be there again on the 9th and 10th of May 2017 at the Radial System. And I think, why are we coming together? Because we want to create a smart green economy. And EcoSummit focuses on, on energy, mobility, and buildings. We have, a, I think, a water technology startup pitching today, too. But these uh, three areas, I think, are the three pillars of the so-called energy vendor, the energy transition. And they are also playing a key role in the cities uh, where we are living. And we also need smart green citizens, yeah? the people buying and living there, and the customers, the consumers who are really buying the green products and services uh, that you guys are building. And the key idea of EcoSummit, our long-term strategy is basically to be an e ecosystem accelerator and basically accelerate all of you at the same time and help you accelerate each other because, let's face it, we are trying to build big startups, not small startups. Big startups have a big impact and uh, they are more attractive for an acquirer, for a buyer. And, and, and I think we have to grow the revenues of the startups more quickly in order to bring them in many markets. We will later hear from Sanjevity how they entered the Dutch market. Yeah, it's one of the global startups. Ruvim is here. She, she will also be together with Frank and some more um, again on stage uh, for the closing panel. Open innovation and co-investing, two key ideas. I think uh, they are really useful in order to accelerate. It basically means we need to work together better and more. The startups can work together with the corporates, not only in terms of investment, but really buying and selling, building business relationships, because companies like Ineco or Shell, they are look really looking for new products they can sell um, to their customer base. And then the idea of co-investing, I think you probably would agree with me that it's very hard to build a startup alone. If you are an investor, you need to really talk to the other investors and build syndicates and really think about who are the best investors in Europe or even globally that could help the startup I already invested in or I'm thinking about investing in. Yeah? So really during the years we learned that co-investing and creating a network where the investors can talk among each other is really a key success factor. We also do the award. This, these are our winners of the Eco Summit Award 2016. We only do it once a year, so we won't have an award today. I think there's a little inflation of awards. So we decided let's do one in Berlin every year. And here are the winners. We have two categories, a late stage category, if you have more than two million in revenues. The gold medalist was a Kiwi Grid. Silver went to Mobisol and Kiboni got the bronze medal in the late stage category. And in the early stage category, it was Luminasa who won gold, Ben Energy uh, from Switzerland uh, with a silver, and Electrokea um, with a bronze medal. I think six really cool startup companies uh, you should keep in mind. They are all available on EcoSummit TV because they have been pitching, I think, uh, except for Kiboni at the event. Um, at the end of April in Berlin. We like startups to be smart, green, and lean. Smart basically means a lot of software, a lot of information and communication technology is being applied, smart energy. You know the term smart home, smart city, smart grid. It's all about being smart, not stupid. <laughs> and green is really the idea of resource efficiency and sustainability. And then 
Of course, uh, lean is uh, the idea of capital efficiency, not waste too much money when you are building a company. And here are my four favorite success factors. We always have to keep in mind people. Find the best people for your company. Capital, find enough money to grow faster than your competition. Have a really good product that is price competitive, that you really can sell in the market. Make that product better all the time. Don't stand still. Yeah? And then customers. I think uh, investors really love revenues and, and, and entrepreneurs also loving revenues and you should go after the customers basically from the first day when you have your first idea, basically think about who is the first customer you are going to sell to. And of course there's a VC food chain, uh, people with different investment strategies in the room, the early stage people and the late stage people, angel investors, we have a couple of them here too. All right, this is my opening presentation to give you a little bit of motivation for a powerful day of networking and a lot of learning. Hopefully you meet a lot of exciting people, exciting companies. And now it's my pleasure to already call on stage the next speaker.